This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planters plant food. Hi, I'm Ryan Lee from Indiana University, and today I have a gardening tip about uh, those weedy vines. So I've got an example here of an ornamental morning glory. Uh, you, you know, plant this on your trellises and it's really great until it gets out of control or until you want to replace it with something else and then it becomes a weed. Unfortunately, most of the time when we see a weedy vine in our gardens, we tend to call it morning glory. Everything gets the same name and yet there are quite a few different weedy vines that we have to, to deal with and so we're going to identify those today um, by looking around the greenhouse. This is tall morning glory. It's an annual. You see that again distinct heart-shaped leaf. It again has a has a flower that looks very similar to the the ornamental morning glory. Um, this may in fact be an escaped version of a uh, ornamental morning glory. The opposite may be true as well. This may be the progenitor of our or ornamental morning glories. Um, nevertheless, this is called tall morning glory. It's an annual. It is in the morning glory family. Again, related to the ornamental morning glory, this is ivy leaf morning glory. Again, it's an annual. Uh, you can see the distinct uh, morning glory like flowers. The difference here is this ivy leaf. It has very deep lobes. So you can get hybrids between an ivy leaf morning glory and a tall morning glory and you will see variations of the depth of these lobes. Okay, so while this one looks very similar to the morning glories that I just described, this is a different plant altogether. Still in the morning glory f family, however the leaves are longer, they're more arrowhead shaped, um, and they come to a very sharp point in the back. This is called hedge bindweed. Hedge bindweed is a perennial and it can develop very strong, very deep tap roots. Um, so getting rid of this out of or getting getting this out of your garden will require you to remove that very large tap root or kill it with a systemic herbicide like glyphosate. Okay, so again another another weedy vine that looks very similar to um, the hedge bindweed and field bindweed is this but this again is not a uh, not in the morning glory family in fact this is in the smart weed family this is called wild buckwheat the the the, uh, the two uh, characteristics that really distinguish this is one its flowers are completely different from a morning glory they, it does not have that funnel form flower the flowers are much smaller um, oftentimes pink to white small balls of flower the other thing is a characteristic of the smartweed family and that is a small ring of uh, tissue a membranous tissue that surrounds kind of clasps around the uh, stem right where the petal attaches that's called an ochrea and it's it's a characteristic of the smartweed family and it's how you can distinguish this as being wild buckwheat while this weed looks very similar to the weeds in the morning glory family that we just looked at, this one is in a completely different family. This is called honey vine milkweed. It's in the milkweed family. The distinction is that the leaves come off or are arranged oppositely, so they're two ranked. At every node there is two leaves coming off. They have a heart-shaped uh, leaf. Um, again, it looks very similar to a morning glory, however, it is a completely different species. This is a perennial milkweed called um, honey vine milkweed. Okay, growing up this wall is what looks very similar to poison ivy. Poison ivy has three leaves, this has five leaves. This is called Virginia creeper. It's again a very woody, uh, very woody vine, very sturdy, a perennial. Uh, you often see it growing up the sides of buildings like this or, or trees. Um, but it's not poison ivy. Uh, this is the one that I don't want to touch. This looks very similar to Virginia creeper. However, this one has three leaves. This is poison ivy. Poison ivy is a perennial woody stem, very hardy, very difficult to get rid of. Uh, this has been a gardening tip about weedy vine identification. Um, I'm Ryan Lee from Indiana University.